Henry, I'm glad you I'd been to see Sir Radzik. So how did he take the news? Well, he wasn't exactly happy about it. I can well imagine. I wouldn't want the Zools plundering my estates either. If I had any. He wants us to carry on patrolling the area. There's nothing else for it. That makes sense. I don't think he'll come to us. So we'll just have to hope we run into him. I'd like to check out the big forest to the north. And then carry on via Ujits. Sure. Mount up then, and let's go. Please, can we stop for a bit? My arse is aching, and I've such a thirst I could drink a moat dry. Same here. Now, what do you say, Chief? Not to worry. We'll re-choose it soon. We'll spend the night there. I hear they've got a peculiar priest there. <laughs> they say he drinks like the devil himself. <laughs> There's nothing strange about that. Every other man of the cloth is a swill pot. Or a lecher. Or both. <laughs> <laughs> Quiet. Listen. Nothing to fear. We're with Sir Radzik, in a manner of speaking. What's the matter? These brigands came. The menfolk fled and left us there. They started pillaging the place, drinking whatever they could find and smashing things. I ran off, but the other girls... They... You've got to save them. Please, I beg you. Easy, lass. Drinking, you say? I, sir. They rolled the casks into the courtyard and started swilling like pigs from a trough. Well, as our old cook used to say, if you want to make a proper goulash, you should soak the meat in ale for a while to soften it first. Ah, let them get well soaked and then go and chop them up. Good thinking, Chief. But, but what about the girls? Those men, they, they were... Ah... I'm sure your friends won't be getting nothing they ain't had before. Well, unless they be nuns. <laughs> <laughs> Kuno, you know, the girl's right. If we delay, her friends will pay the price for it. I appreciate your advice, Henry. But it's caution that will keep you alive, not chivalrous deeds. You promised Sir Radzig you protect his fiefdom, and that means his subjects too. Come on, it's not like their lives are in any real danger. Hagen's men just want a bit of fun. A bit of fun? Are you fucking serious? You know very well, Kuno, how innocent girls can end up after a bit of fun with animals like that. Well, I for one am not going to sit back and let it happen, even if I have to creep in there myself and try to rescue them. Oh, all right. It's not the smartest thing to do. But let's go and tackle those fuckers, if that's how you want it. Good. Thanks. Right. We better try and save those girls from Hagen's brutes.
Let's go! their back covered. My right arm is stiff since last night. Cover that side for me. So as not to do yourself an injury. Still, it's always good to have your helmet well polished before battle. Thanks for the invaluable advice, brothers. I'll watch your right side then, yeah? Thanks, Jakey. Jesus, what the <gasps> fuck? It's a sign from God, Peter. A foretaste of what we'll do with the liquid loot we take from the foe. Shit. <gasps> I wanted to charge them with a terrifying roar. There'll be no more wine flowing here. Now it's your blood that will st stain the ground. Instead of wine and wit. What's that? Hey! Who's there? Good work, lads. So, where's those Mother of God. we so gallantly rescued? They took to their heels as soon as they saw the pit of you. Can't say I blame them. The fucking ingratitude. Well, at least the booze didn't run away. down <laughs> Friendly game, what'd you say? <laughs> Have another laugh with us. You're too serious.
call you brother. All right? If them Bermans can do it. Right, brother? You like me too, don't you? Yeah. Of course. I like you too. King Bartholomew used to sit there every day. 